This video is sponsored by PCB Way, but more on that in a little bit. Hello, Randy Rain here, and if you clicked on this video, then more than likely you know what it's about. If you don't, let me tell you. Back in 1975, there was a TV movie called Trilogy of Terror, came on the channel ABC. And it was a horror movie with three different stories. And the last story was about this Zuni doll. And it's the same classic story that's older than dirt, where an inanimate object comes alive and tries to kill or harm the person. And that's what this does. Now, the whole thing is supposed to be scary, but it's actually kind of funny. And the, the doll is just really, really cool. And my favorite part is actually not even when you see the doll. It's when you see the little knife come sticking underneath the door. That, that makes me laugh every time. I love Trilogy of Terror, and I love the last little story with the little Zuni doll. And that's what I wanted to create, because no one, as far as I'm aware of, has ever created one that is a marionette. So, that's what I want to do, so I better get started. So it looks like I'm just recreating some of the ends of popsicle sticks, but actually this is birch plywood. So I'm just going to use CA glue, just because it's fast, but there will be plenty of strength in this thing. Wait and see. You'll see later on why there's so much play in here, but it has to flex like this. But of course, I don't want the arm to do that, because the arm can do this, but I don't want it doing that. So on the back side, there's going to get a stop. So the stop will be here. So it'll still be able to swivel this way, but stop back here. And then for the leg, I want the stop here, so it doesn't need to be going past there. If it's going to go up there, it needs to swivel and twist. And then the knee is here, so I don't want hyperextended knee here, so... Okay, so now I need to... Tape it here. Put that there. And make it so I can hang it up. Like that. So now it's all about getting this spray foam all over these pieces. I don't want it in here. I don't want it there either. So now I have this little puff ball here, and I probably used the wrong stuff. I've done this before, and this time I used this large gap cheap foam here. And I, if I did this over, I'd probably use the regular stuff and probably use a name brand because there is a lot of voids in this stuff. But that's okay because it just doesn't matter. There's going to be so many more places that I can feel in the voids because this is going to be covered in resin as well. 
And if you look at what I'm making, it's supposed to be made out of clay or something like that. So, again, it just doesn't matter. You can also sand it. So with voids like this, I can always just take a piece of foam and shove it in there and then put the coating over that. So as for the body here, it's going to be carved out of green foam. And the joints here are going to be from these pieces. I printed these out. I'm going to go ahead and cast these pieces and make them out of black plastic just because I want them black and I want them stronger. For one thing, it's printed this way and it could easily break there. So this needs to be way stronger and I might as well make that black as well. But I can use this and this will be embedded into the foam here. Then after I have my castings, they get put in like that and this all gets sealed up. And so this rotates like that. And if you took an arm, it would pivot to here and only be able to allow it to stop and only allow it to go to here. But you could rotate it this way, even to this way. It'll give you all your movement and it's not going to allow it to be in a position that a person couldn't do. And then of course, this goes here. We'll get pivoted there. So we'll be able to come up here, but it'll only be able to go straight here. And then on the leg, it's going to be notched out. And so these fit in. And then the legs go in like that. And then the knee goes on front that way. So the first thing to do is go ahead and make a mold of these pieces. So next I'm about to coat these and they're going to be coated with Epsilon Pro. Uh, it's an epoxy, it's not urethane. But first I'm going to try to fill in here. Should be fairly simple. Put a little CA glue, find some foam. What I'm going to coat these with is called Epsilon Pro by Smooth On. It is not urethane, it is a type of epoxy. I have fans going here and ventilation because this is supposed to be ventilated. And it is 2 to 1 by volume.
So I have all my swivel pieces. I guess it's time to start laying out the body here. So I have my actual size picture here, and I made a few adjustments from here, and I kind of drew out what the profile is going to be, but I'm going to start here. This is going to get cut away, but yeah, you can pretty much do it with a steak knife. draw this out again where I lost it So with the green foam, there's all kinds of little methods you can use. It carves so easily. You can also use another block. And it takes down both sides for a nice smooth finish. You can also just use your finger and just mash it away. With detail, you want to overdo it because some of it's going to get lost when you put the epoxy on top of it. So make your valleys deep and your heels high. At this point, it's in the rubbery stage. It's cured to the touch, but it's not hard. Some places are getting hard, but it's really not. It's a good time to kind of just shape it up a little bit. Take, take off the high spots. And you can use sandpaper. And this time I added some black pigment to it. I'm going to go ahead and give these another coat. And this time I'm going to add in some iron oxide. So 
So I guess it's time to start on the head. Um, See, my block is ready. Just wonder. Okay, that was a lot of work, and I couldn't show all that on video. I'm going to have little eyelets that this will hinge on right here. And then across here I need to put in a carbon fiber rod and then on this piece there's going to be an eyelet there and it's going to go around that rod. So. Technically, it would be able to slide a little bit here and here and then kind of flop around, get a little movement out of it. That's all it needs. But now I need to put in these joints here. And it looks like they need to be straight in line with the neck. So let me cut in here and talk about the sponsor. Now the sponsor is PCB Way, and PCB stands for Printed Circuit Board. Now you're probably wondering, what does a printed circuit board have to do with a marionette Zuni doll? And the answer is absolutely nothing. But that's not the only thing they do. They also do 3D printing, and they also do CNC work, which is something that does go along with a Zuni doll. So if you need something 3D printed, or you need something milled on a CNC machine, or if you need a printed circuit board, then go check out PCB Way. They're not just a sponsor, they are a company that I actually use. So go check them out, I can verify for them. Anyway, back to the Zuni doll. I've got a pretty big gap here, and I'm just going to use some epoxy putty. So I fixed a few of the spots. Now I'm going to coat it again. This time letting them drip the other direction. So last of the foam carving. Let's see, so it's going to be the feet and the hands. And from the pictures, they're not detailed at all.
Now one thing I could have done was make a swivel here. And that would be better for certain types of marionettes, but this one's holding weapons. It's going to have a spear in its left hand and a knife in the rat right hand. I wish the local store had brown primer that was for plastic. All the plastic primers are white. There's some metal primer that's brown, but I'm, I don't know about this stuff. I think I scratched it enough to really, for a primer to hold, but it needs to be a good primer meant for plastic. It's resistant, that's for sure, but that's because it's flexible. And when it's flexible, it doesn't really, hold well for paint. I think it's going to be fine if I do a scratch test and nothing. So I think we're good. Plus I found this at my local hobby store. It's brown. Nowhere on here does it say gloss or semi-gloss or flat or anything. But I'm going to give this a shot. Now I think I'm going to paint them all this brown separately. Put it together and then glue it places and touch it up. I think that's the best way. So I bought a sheet of this craft foam. This is what I'm going to make teeth out of. I just need a small piece of it. Alright, I got some teeth here. Now I'm gonna take a lighter. Before it's very square, and you kind of taper it off a little bit. Alright, so the body's all together. I think the way to do this is to take some CA glue and just have to do that a whole bunch more times. I think what I'm going to do now, I just use some acrylic paint. Really just kind of give it a dry brushing because it's too dark. Now for a lighter. 
even lighter color. I lightened it up because I'm about to darken it back up. And now it's time to really darken it with some watered down black. Now for the hair, I'm going to use yarn. It's hard to see what it is in the pictures, but it's not hair, whatever it is. Some sort of string. So I have this board that says louder. I'll show you what it is later. Ignore it for now. I'm just going to wrap some yarn around it. get slid off. Now take a pair of scissors. Now I can take it get a sanding so it's nice and flat and I 
I should be able to glue it in place. So for his loincloth thing on here, it's obviously some sort of bandana. And I tried to find a bandana that was close to it and really couldn't. Tried to find material that was close to it and couldn't. But I found this green bandana and I put it in some bleach water and took out, it was green green, and now it came out this color. And I really like this color. So what I think I'm going to do is fold it and just this much right here it's hard to tell by the picture what exactly is going on with it coming over here it gets getting hiked up kind of doing something over here on the side and I definitely want some pattern to be shown use some low melt hot glue so you're figuring it out now that I'm not going to be able to finish this whole thing in one video well, the name of the movie is Trilogy of Terror, so that's going to give you a little bit of a hint on how many videos there's going to be. But he's done, and he looks great, I think. I love him. And he looks really, really close to the original. There's some little things that I didn't get exactly right, but it's, it's close enough. You know what it is. And some of the ones I've seen online, they're not perfect either and they still look great and so mine looks just as great and I can't wait to get him fully working. I have some gold chain here that I'm going to do as gold chain but I haven't decided what I want to do because in the movie he doesn't come alive until it falls off so I want it removable. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to be able to take it on and off. I'm also going to make a spear and I'm also going to make a little knife that holds in this hand. That's what's going to be in the next video. And then I will build the controls for him and have some fun. But there he is, the Zuni doll from Trilogy of Terror. I've always wanted to make this little guy, and I'm finally doing it. So if you enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate a like. If you want to see more like this, please hit that subscribe button. I want to thank these people here, all these people right here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. I couldn't build a little Zuni doll without these people, so I want to thank them very much. If you want to become a patron, there is a link below. There are some perks, so go check that out. There's also PayPal donation and all that stuff that you see on YouTube. So thank you very much for watching. Come back next week for the next installment, and I will see you then. <coughs> Okay, so what is this board? Well, if you don't know, I'm a performer. I do comedy magic, and so I have a lot of gags, and that's what this is. And so what you're supposed to do with this is when something good happens, something cool, like, you know, you uh, build a Zuni doll, well, you hold up the sign. It says, applause, please. And you go, well, no, louder. And then when they get louder, you go, no, that's, that's enough.